All right, so here's a quick and easy way. I won't say it's easy. I will say it's quicker. Um, all of these, there's a bunch of little spot welds on this grating all the way across. And this grating is bent down like that. And what I found yesterday, if I take my hammer here, hold on. You need a big hammer, some chisels, and a cutoff grinder. But if you take and beat on this stuff, you can bend it back up, right? And then, lo and behold, let me see if this will do right for uh, at least one showing. Now, while you're doing beating on it, make sure that you take your grinder off because this little wheel is delicate. <coughs> this is a three inch wheel. I had to buy the arbor and uh, it has a three ace arbor on it. You can get them with a quarter but it seemed the, they were more common with the 3 8 uh, cheaper as well. So I bought the one with the 3 8 or quarter harbor. Anyway, uh, put on your glasses because you don't want none of this stuff coming at you. So you sit there and you beat that up and you reach up under here underneath of it. And uh, you make sure that you don't sit in the line of fire for the cut. But Alright, there's one, right? Alright, so I don't quite have a popped up enough. Right there. Now I do. so forth until you get them all done. Now, that's my you know, 10 seconds. Now, you can't beat on it so hard because these little webs are weakened where they were welded before. And as you can see, some spots, it's actually cut in half. And uh, you're trying to avoid breaking those. My grinder apparently has a cutout feature. If it is too much of a bind, it will. It will cut off. Let me show you what the chisel was about, are about, if I can find them, where to stick them. I sat on them. All right, so you get that in there, you get a cold chisel. Now this is a three-quarter cold chisel. It's not quite, uh, it's a little too large. I got a half inch 12 going on the way, but, and then you just pop it and she'll come right on up. You like that? All right, come over here. And see, because I can't reach it from underneath, I'm going to try to reach this one from the back side and go in underneath of it. But there's so much slag. All right. Got a little bit of a problem there. <clears throat> All right. Now we're up above it. Let's see, I'm starting. 
starting to cut into the trailer a little bit there. Binding. That's cutting into the trailer. I don't want to cut into that part of the trailer. Let's see if I can, and there you go. See there? And that's how you do it. Just repeat at nausea all the way across this thing. And see, I've gotten all the rest of them. And I also use my die grinder to do this. <clears throat> I would take a die grinder and go in here and, and uh, put a little rounded tip and cut away most of it. And then I tried I'll make a separate video on that, okay? So anyhow, um, I'm almost done though, so I'm going to sit here and finish this, and y'all can just imagine what it's like, because I went over the entire trailer doing that. Uh, actually, went fairly quickly. <clears throat> once it, it went fairly quickly once I figured out how to do that, but I got to go to this corner right here. The, there's like four welds here, and then I got to come across the bottom here. And, uh... That'll be the entire trailer cut out. Now you see, there's a big gap in it, and that's scrap piece cut out of it. But I gotta cut this off so I can fix the trailer itself. So, I'll be back shortly. Now, I had a couple of other things, and I guess I should have thought about it before I turned the camera. thing. Now, that was very inconvenient of me, for me, but if I look, I'll probably find a hammer around here somewhere. Now, as it is, because this thing is warped this way, it's looking like I'm going to have to come in and go behind every single one of these. Instead of coming from that way, I gotta come from this way because this is the last little strip and it's no longer doing the effective bending out of my way when I want it to. And I put this board down to try to save my grass some. how effective it is. Alright. Let me see. Grinder. Glasses. Grinder. Now, is this going to throw things at me, or is it going to throw them the other direction? That's a million-dollar question right now. Looking like I got to come in from the back. Oh, what a pity. There's the, there it is. sake I brought another battery with me this thing goes through these m12 batteries like you wouldn't believe it came with the m4.0 uh, but that's over there and I don't have it all right 
Let's see if that's enough to break it free. Sure enough. Now, some of you may be wondering, why on earth did you buy such a cheap trailer? I didn't. Somebody else bought it. My dad did. And now I'm trying to make it up. Oh, now you see that weld just broke itself free. I didn't even hardly tag it. And uh, where, where do you buy these? Um, I'm going to say that this is called the carry-on brand of trailers. And for those who have a certain need without, you know, constant uh, justification, or uh, they can't justify the purchase price of a really quality trailer. Um, maybe this is their preference. Right, but as far as I'm concerned, yeah, there you go. And that broke free. All right. So I got. Oh, my hammer went all the way sliding across the thing, and I knew that. There's just weld spatter everywhere. It never got cleaned up originally and you know it the axle was trailer is out of square the axle was out of square to the tongue the tongue was way too short like it was 28 inches or something like that and it kept hitting the side of the truck and you couldn't barely steer the damn thing for people that don't know anything about trailers, I guess that works for you. You know, you deal with it because you don't know anything about trailers because you hardly ever have to use them. So you buy a cheap trailer. But I personally am rather upset that anyone will put their name on something like that. But... And the thing is, I know what this trailer is made with. I know this trailer was made by setting the uh, all these parts in the jig, and I cannot believe that anyone would set that jig up that incorrectly. Which means more likely that there's not just this trailer, but at least 20 or 30 of them before they ever even realized it or fixed the trailer. It, quality control is just insane, you know. And uh, I, I just I find it hard to believe. That anyone did that. Any company would knowingly and willingly go through and abuse their customers, giving them a cheap piece of crap. But I mean, we all have a price point to meet, and uh, it is what it is, I guess. For some people, what they offer is at the price point they're willing to meet. So, yeah, the trailer is a pretty stubborn piece of, I'm going to have to cut that off. Particularly stubborn piece of wire that weld, uh, welding wire is stuck on right there. And see, I broke that weld right off. And I don't mean to disparage the company, huh? Somebody willing to do business with them. Apparently, I got this trailer sitting here, right?
see, that didn't quite actually make contact with anything. And there's a weld. I'm going to leave the chisel in here for a minute. I'm going to come back in here because it wouldn't lift up high enough for me to get where I wanted to be. See, now I can get it. Can you see where I'm at right here? I don't think you can. What's scary is to think that we're all on the highway with a bunch of things manufactured to such a poor standard. And it, it kind of scares me sometimes. Uh, I got one spot weld left on this whole thing. And uh, I don't think you can see it. You know, I think you're uh, going to be looking down inside of here. You know, I got one spot weld left. It's right here. And I don't think y'all got the last two. I was just moving along and talking. Huh? Mm. All right, so you see me right there? Now I'm gonna have to flip this thing. I hate it when it shoots right in my face. <laughs> I know a couple girls is called. <laughs> All right, so. Let's see if I can get in there in a better angle, right? It's the last one. There you go. That's the whole deck. I'm fairly certain. Oh, I got one weld right here I didn't, I missed. I missed completely for days. Hold on, there's another one here. Oh, well, dun, 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 dun. we got to go back over and uh, we're going to have to go back and check it. I missed two welds right here in the middle. All right, so I'm going to fuss and I'm going to cuss while I'm doing those. And uh, I'm, I'm out of storage space on this phone, so I'm going to hit pause right here. You just imagine for yourself, if you will, you imagine my for yourself, me cutting those two out and having a cussing fit. I'll be back to you in a minute. Let me get all this stuff out of the way, and uh, I'll get back to y'all. 